Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to be going over with you my favorite red lipsticks. I would call red lipstick both timeless and universal. There are definitely different shades of red that are gonna work maybe better for your skin tone, for your preferences and stuff like that. But in general, I do think everybody looks great in a red lip. Uh, whether you have the confidence or desire to pull it off is another story, but honestly, like, if you've been wanting to try it, just go for it. Um, hopefully the examples that I give you today are gonna give you some ideas if you haven't tried a red lip before. When you wear red lipstick, no matter what your skin tone, as long as it's pigmented enough to show up against your skin tone, it's going to pop, right? So the amazing thing about that is, you know, if you have fair skin, it's going to give you contrast. And on a deeper skin tone, bright colors really pop and look vibrant and add vibrancy to your complexion. I think it can be fun and bold. I think it can be sophisticated. My look today is definitely an example of how I would make a red lip look more sophisticated whereas in my last video um, I was wearing like huge lashes big liner and stuff like that and I paired it with a really dramatic look I think it works for a range of looks as long as it kind of matches the rest of your face um, I definitely think a red lip can elevate your look and if you are starting off with red lips and you don't really know like how to pair it with the rest of your makeup, I would say start off with neutral eyeshadows. You can certainly wear colorful eyeshadows with a red lip, but if you kind of like are scared and you want to maintain balance really easily, go for a neutral eyeshadow look and more minimal, like a thin liner, um, stuff like that. Because if it's too overwhelming on the eyes and then you pop on a red lip, sometimes the balance is thrown off. So those are my tips if you're new to red lips. Otherwise, what I look for in the product itself, um, I do look for a matte lipstick when I'm wearing reds. That doesn't mean I want it to be like super drying and uncomfortable, but I do want it to be matte because red, you want to stay in place all day. Creamier lipsticks, glossier lipsticks have a tendency to bleed. And the more pigment a lipstick has, the less safe it is gonna be to wear it for a long time if it's not matte. So I definitely think matte red lipsticks look and wear the best. I want Want it to have an even coverage you can certainly get like a sheer red lipstick for a stained look but that's not really like what I'm talking about right now so you want it to have even pigmentation and coverage over the whole lip also you don't want it to really have like shimmer or sparkle in it I think that that looks great for like Christmas but generally um, I don't like my reds to have like shimmer in them. When it comes to choosing your specific color, you might want to pay attention to the undertone of the red, which I am going to get into with all these examples. So without any further ado, let me give you my list of my favorite red lipsticks. Um, this is gonna be in no particular order. So the first one is Kat Von D Outlaw. Let's just address the elephant in the room. I don't wanna keep supporting Kat Von D. I think like some of the messages she puts out there are really awful. The fact that everyone on her artistry team is like skin, the fact that she has like associated with Nazis, and the fact that she's an anti-vaxxer makes me just like not want to support her. But just like also in general, like there's only so much good makeup out there and a lot of it like comes from like corporations and stuff and you know just because they're not telling you outright what their views are doesn't mean you're supporting like a good person necessarily you know what I'm saying I mean if you shop at H&M if you sh like there's just so much that goes into ethical consumption but anyway I don't really like Kat Von D as a person that's what I'm trying to say but this is like one of my favorite red lipsticks and I don't want to lie like I wear this all the time. So this is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Outlaw. This is a true bright red with a blue undertone. So this is really great if you want something that's gonna make your teeth look a little bit whiter and brighter. Um, I love this for that. This is also, I'm gonna give you um, hand swatches by the way. So this is also great if you want something that's long wearing. Um, because it is a liquid lipstick, it can feel a little bit dry on the lips. So if you have mature skin, mature lips, um, or super sensitive dry lips, this might not be the best option for you. But for me, I mean, my lips are semi-sensitive. I do find that if I hydrate with a balm beforehand, that this is comfortable. I find that when I eat and drink, like this stays on pretty well. It does bleed in the corners a little bit if I drink like a hot coffee or if I eat an oily food, but um, that's kind of just to be expected with any lipstick with a lot of color in it. So this is what the swatch looks like now and you'll see what the dry down looks like as I go. This next one is by a company that so far I'm actually really happy to support and share with you guys. This is Fluid. Their slogan is makeup for him, her, everyone, which I love. This is also a liquid lipstick. So compared to the, I'm actually wearing this today. 
compared to the Kat Von D one, the Kat Von D one has a little bit more of like a plasticky finish. I don't exactly know how to describe it, but it dries down and almost has like a plasticky finish, whereas this has more of a powdery finish. So this one is maybe like a little bit drier. It doesn't feel quite as dry though. It's still a little bit tacky when I press my lips together, but I would actually say that this one has less transfer than this one. So that's kind of like a personal preference thing. As far as the color goes, the Fluid one is, oh, this is in the color Rosemont, by the way. This color dries down a little bit darker and a little bit more neutral than the Kat Von D. So upon initial swatch, you can actually see that this is the Fluid one over here. Oh, I'm not flipping you off, sorry. This is the Fluid one it actually makes the Kat Von D one look almost pink because the Kat Von D one's a hair brighter and a hair more blue. Oh, and I do want to disclose, sorry, I didn't already do this. So the Kat Von D one I bought with my own money, but I uh, used an employee discount at the time when I purchased this and the Fluid one was sent to me in PR. The next one for me is like, I mean, I just get so nostalgic when I think about this. This is NARS Jungle Red. Now, NARS recently changed their cruelty-free status. They are not cruelty-free, so if that is a problem for you, then you might not want to buy this lipstick. Um, but again, I'm not going to lie. It's one of my favorites. I don't wear it so much anymore. It's quite bright with a slightly warmer undertone. It's not quite an orange. It's still definitely a red, but it does have a slight warm undertone like you can tell it has a tiny bit more yellow than the other two and it is a tiny bit lighter it almost looks coral in comparison to the other ones but i swear on the lips it looks red if you have a deeper skin tone this one will probably like appear almost corally on you actually but on somebody of my uh complexion tone it definitely appears red on the face but anyway um, it's super nice, super comfortable, and super long wearing. Like, I remember wearing this for the first time and then eating, like, a ton of takeout Chinese food right afterwards, and then I was like, oh my gosh, my lipstick's gonna be everywhere. I looked, it didn't budge. I didn't even have, like, the wearing off in the inner portion. It was amazing. So this is super long wearing, great for somebody maybe who is blonde, um, somebody who has a little bit of a warmer undertone, because this has, like, a, a warmer undertone if you have that like gold look to your skin, then um, this might be something to try. Also, if you have blue eyes, the warmer or more yellowy reds as opposed to the more bluey reds are going to make your eyes pop a little bit more, even though red lipstick in general is going to make anybody's eyes pop. And I do wanna mention that because this is a traditional wax lipstick formula, it is not transfer proof. Um, I mean, any red lipstick isn't gonna be like super transfer proof unless it's like cement on your lips. You can tell as the other two are drying down that they're much more matte than this one. This one has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it does um, appear as pretty matte on the lips, but it's definitely less transfer proof than the other two. That's just the case with all, pretty much all um, traditional wax lipsticks with a bullet. And I paid full price for this. I bought this in Ireland like five years ago. That's part of the reason I don't use it anymore. I did want to feature it in this video, um, but it smells fine. So <laughs> but do keep in mind that makeup does expire. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. I'm not setting a great example, but keep that in mind. So the next one is currently one of my favorites. Uh, again, this is by NARS. So again, mine, they're cruelty-free status. I did not pay for this. This is a sample size that I received in store when I was working an event. So this is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. These came out sometime in 2017. They were a little late to the liquid lipstick bandwagon, honestly, like they're kind of on their way out anyway. I myself only wear lip liquid lipsticks for like really bold colors, honestly, like everything else I want a wax lipstick now, but anyway, anyway. So this is in the shade Star Woman. This is in the shade Star Woman. This is in the shade Star Woman. This is a liquid lipstick. It's definitely more liquidy than the other two. And something that's amazing about these lipsticks is the precision tip. It's really, really easy to apply and get a crisp line. It takes a little bit longer because the tip is skinnier, but I don't mind that because I get the precision. So you see with the swatch, I kind of have to build it up to get the same width of swatch as the other two, but it's super opaque. It's definitely the deepest of all the lips that I've mentioned so far. I love a deep red. I just feel like with my hair and my skin tone, it really pops and it looks a little bit more sophisticated than something as bright as the Kat Von D. Um, and you'll see as it continues to dry down. 
that it is matte and it does have like a deep but still kind of bright color to it. It's super even in coverage, super long wearing. Again, you are going to get bleeding with oily food and hot fluids, but um, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites right now. Since this one has a little bit of depth, um, it is going to appear, you know, less dark on a deep skin tone. It's going to look like more of a true red if you have a deeper skin tone, whereas against my skin tone, it does look like a little bit more of a deep red, if that makes sense. I also want to say that this is really similar to Fenty Beauty, their lipstick in the shade Madame. I returned that lipstick because number one, I felt like it bled pretty badly outside my lip line and um, the bullet actually like fell out of the tube and I'm really careful with my lipstick. I used it like two or three times. So that was super disappointing because I loved the color and I would way rather like support Rihanna than by NARS or Kat Von D, but, um, and I really loved the packaging. I thought it was super cute, but, um, yeah, it just didn't work for me. So I had to return it, but if you want to try it, it is a really similar color to this. So the last one of my favorites is Monaco from the brand Tonic. Tonic is an indie line. I am an affiliate with them. I did receive this for free and I do have a code for free shipping. It is an affiliate code. I will have it linked down below if you want to use it because they are an e-commerce website. So you do have to order online. What's really cool about the actual tube is that it's lined with silicone. So it actually um, prevents sunlight from getting in and changing the color over time, which I definitely, like I have this one look of lipstick by Kat Von D, Requiem, which definitely has deepened over time, like inside the tube. So that is a really cool point about these tubes, but this one is Monaco. Here's this watch right here. Um, you can tell compared to the other ones that it does have some brown in it and some warmth. So if you like to wear bronze, smoky eyes, gold eyeshadows, this one is perfect. Like for prom, I ended up using this a lot because a lot of girls want like that gold smoky eye or that bronze smoky eye or that gold cut crease or whatever. And if they're wearing a red dress, they have fair skin, dark hair, then this looks perfect. So for me on the rare occasion that I do wanna wear a bronze look, I go for this if I want a red lip. And it's funny, like when I have all of these on my face one at a time, like they just look red, um, maybe to the average person or you know somebody who's not thinking about it. But when you have them all lined up like this, you can really tell how different they are. So for me, all of these serve a different purpose in like my makeup wardrobe. But if you're looking for like your perfect red, I do think that you could choose one of these based on like your skin tone, your needs, etc. So again, this is Kat Von D Outlaw. This is Fluid Rosemont. This is NARS Jungle Red. Uh, regular lipstick. This is NARS uh, Liquid Power Matte Lip Pigment in Star Woman, and this is the Tonic Cosmetics Monaco Satin Liquid Lip. Monaco also is available in a matte. I much prefer the satins. I think it's one of the most comfortable liquid lipsticks I've ever tried. Their satin liquid lip um, but it is available in a matte as well. So I will have both of those linked down below for you. So I just wanted to give two honorable mentions. Um, these two aren't my favorites, but I have gone through phases where I've worn them a lot. So this is NARS Cruella. A lot of people know about this. It's their velvet matte lip pencil. Ooh, I haven't sharpened it in a while. But this one is on the deeper, more bluey side of things. Um, so this is pretty comfortable, pretty easy to apply, easy to put in your purse. The only downside is you need to sharpen it and that they're not cruelty free. When it is sharpened, you do get an opaque swatch, by the way. And then this one is a very deep red. This is Too Faced Drop Dead Red. This is very matte and you definitely need a lip liner with it because it will bleed. See how on the edges it looks a little bit lighter and like a little bit patchy that's really common with these dark red colors so for dark red lips i usually use the milani liner in a uh, sugar plum it's very like purpley but it definitely does the job most of these dark red lips have a little bit of purple in them anyway so yeah that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it um if i haven't made it clear red lipsticks is like one of my favorite makeup items i think it can be fun and bold and, or sophisticated or like a little bit of everything i think there's a different shade of red for every purpose for every skin tone. And if you haven't tried a red lipstick before, I hope this inspired you to do so. And I definitely think you should go for it. I am realizing now, I apologize. I don't have any drugstore recommendations in this video, but my favorite drugstore matte lipsticks are the Wet n Wild Mega Last lipsticks, the um, LA Girl Velvet Flat. What are these called? LA Girl Matte Velvet Flat 
flat velvet lipsticks. And also if you want a liquid lipstick, these aren't my favorite in the world, but they're really good from the drugstore. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. I just don't happen to have um, bright reds in those formulas, but they are really good formulas. So if you want a drugstore option and you want to try a red, I would definitely try one of those three. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. I upload a lot of informative makeup content and a lot of skincare content. I am an esthetician as well. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments below, either makeup or skincare related, and otherwise I will see you in my next video. Bye!